held up by masked bandits. I'm Natish Bassono in Midtown, and if you bank at this RBC branch here on St. Clair and Oakwood, you'll notice that you can't get in. That's because it's temporarily closed, and it's not because of construction, but because of a break and enter. And it's believed that the suspects are still inside, and they're not armed or dangerous. <laughs> they can get into your garbage bins, they can break into your homes, and now apparently, they can get inside a bank. And no, they're not there to make a deposit. A family of raccoons broke into the ceiling of this RBC branch on August 23rd. The branch closed its doors the same day. They've remained shut ever since. A copy of a letter sent to customers has been circulating on social media with the branch apologizing for the inconvenience and redirecting customers to alternative locations nearby. However, not everyone was aware of the situation. From what we're told, yes. the bank is being held up by furry masked bandits. <laughs> raccoons? Yeah, raccoons. The bank is occupied by raccoons. Yeah, what, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I'm sure that they're not going to steal very much. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they'd be able to do with the money. And I've lived in Toronto all my life. I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah? And, and so what goes through your mind thinking about something like this? Uh, I guess it kind of makes you want to think, eh? Like, what are they doing with the money that these people are making? This place should be fixed a long time ago. So why is it taking so long? To find out, we caught up with a representative from RBC. We're almost at the end of September. Why is it taking so long to reopen? Well, as everyone knows, raccoons do cause a little bit of damage, but uh, this is an older building and the ceilings are actually over 20 feet high. So we had to build a scaffolding on the inside so that we we're able to get to the very large ceiling tiles uh, that are above. It's a little different than fixing the roof. Is a screen anything against them? Not really. Now, this isn't the first time we brought you a story about raccoons breaking into things or places. Just ask our colleague Roger Peterson. He dealt with a family of raccoons himself when they broke into his home. According to this expert, we're seeing more cases like this because, well, raccoons are getting more accustomed to their surroundings. Raccoons are actually very uh, extremely trainable, right? They, uh, we're, us challenging them as a human being, challenging raccoons, it, it only makes them smarter. So they're, they're going to basically uh, uh, try to find a way to live within us and, uh, and they won't... Uh, they won't just go away. Now, RBC tells us that they are doing their best to speed up the process and they hope to reopen the branch by the end of October. Now, we reached out to the raccoons to find out if they are planning to leave anytime soon. They were unavailable for comment. In Midtown, I'm Antish Bissono, City News.